Thanks for logging on to MyFoxHurricane.com. We continue to watch the tropics pretty closely because now that we're in the month of August, you start to at least expect to see more activity. We're really starting to get into the heart of the season when you're in June into July. It's not uncommon to have a fairly quiet part of the season, but that activity, the bulk of the activity is really through the middle, the end of August into September as well. So you look across the Gulf of Mexico, you've got a very light wind shear, but you really don't have a whole lot of moisture, a lot of deep convection. Then as you look down into the Caribbean, we've been watching this for a couple of days, a lot of strong wind shear, strong winds in the atmosphere are just not conducive to allow for those tropical systems to develop. And then about the only activity that you have is south of there. You are seeing a cluster of storms sitting down across the southern portion of the Caribbean. So we look further and further out into the Atlantic. That is where we start to look this time of the year. You look way out into the central and the eastern Atlantic, and we do have a couple of very weak tropical waves, really seeing minimal amounts of convection with this. But you notice there's light wind shear, so it seems as if this would be an area that you'd be really focusing in on because we should see something developing. At least it seems that way, doesn't it? Because it almost seems like all the ingredients are in place. Well, the problem is we're seeing large amounts of that dry air, that Saharan air uh, working its way across the eastern Atlantic. And that is an issue because when you have all that in place, it just doesn't allow for those tropical systems to develop and that will just continue to work its way onto the west over the next several days. So it's going to continue to be an issue that all boils down to quiet conditions across the entire tropical Atlantic basin. As you watch the Fox model, you're just really not seeing anything of any significant significance across the eastern Atlantic down into the Caribbean as well and the Gulf of Mexico. They all stay quiet and it looks like it'll stay that way at least for the next five days. Of course, we're going to keep you updated right here on myfoxhurricane.com.